Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. I'm really excited today because I've got some juicy stories for you, starting with Intel's 10 nanometer plus plus CPUs, AMD's Ryzen 4000 series APUs, including desktop variants were leaked, Xbox gets a name change, and the Ryzen 9 3900X gets some wild clocks. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, resident leaker Tom Apisak recently shared a couple benchmarks on Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake CPUs, and they're almost unbelievable. For those who don't know, Tiger Lake will be the successor to Intel's 10 nanometer Ice Lake CPUs and features a cache redesign, the new Willow Cove core, and is based on Intel's 10 nanometer plus plus process. Now, this isn't the first time Tiger Lake was spotted. Just a few days ago, a benchmark was found and most believed it was Tiger Lake or a backported desktop chip, but it didn't tell us much, so I didn't discuss it. That is not the case with these two new benchmarks. Both were found on Geekbench, to which I will say it's not the most reliable benchmarking tool, but it's the only thing we have. Anyway, both CPUs are 4-core, 8-thread parts with a base clock of just 1.19 GHz. The kicker here is that when we compare it to Intel's 6-core, 12-thread Comet Lake CPU with a base clock of 1.61 GHz, it can beat it. With that said, there are some 6-core benchmarks that are able to come back and win, but remember that this is a 6-core CPU versus a 4-core part. Also, while their current 4-core Ice Lake chip does beat it, it only does so while at 1.5 GHz. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is, Intel, hurry up and bring 10 nanometers to desktop. And while we patiently wait, it's that time of year, which means last minute gifts. Luckily, protecting your privacy when shopping online is completely free with today's sponsor, Privacy.com, a new tool that lets you create virtual cards for each of your online retailers. That means no one sees your actual card number, and because each card is tied to a specific retailer, if someone steals your virtual card and tries to use it elsewhere, you'll get a notification. Plus, you can control how much is taken out of each card monthly or even total, so you'll never get charged more than you expect. To top all that off, it's not only free, but you get $5 when you visit privacy.com slash gamermeld and add your funding source today. Next up for today, there seems to have been a massive leak from Reddit user Game, who detailed basically every upcoming Ryzen 4000 APU, and let's just say AMD has a ton of announcements coming soon. As far as where all of this came from, the chips were found in a December 2019 driver update, so they should be fairly accurate. With that said, it doesn't give us everything and some of the details are given by deciphering AMD's code. Either way, if this is true, it does provide a few key details, so let's go over it. Starting things off, we have the 15 watt parts, which are the company's ultra low power mobile APUs. And as we go through these, you can see the AMD is continuing their pro lineup with this. So with 15 watts, there's really only four different SKUs, but what's exciting is that we're actually getting our first Ryzen 9 APU. As for the graphics, AMD is apparently sticking to Vega, which is a bit disappointing. Regardless, the CUs go from 6 with Ryzen 3 to 12 or 13 with Ryzen 9. Next, we have the 45 watt mobile SKU, which is their high power mobile variant. And as you can see, these also include a Ryzen 9 part with 12 or 13 CUs. Now, personally, I think Ryzen 9 makes it pretty evident that AMD plans on moving up in core count like they did with their CPUs. It could just be a difference in the iGPU, but I doubt it. Next, we actually have the 65 watt desktop APUs, which right away you may notice there isn't a Ryzen 9 variant. With that said, there is a Ryzen 7 variant, so core counts here could still be going up. Unfortunately, there isn't a 12 or 13 CU GPU, so it seems AMD is focusing more on being competitive in the mobile space. That or the Ryzen 9 variant just wasn't here for some reason. Finally, we have the 35 watt desktop SKUs, which also don't come with Ryzen 9 and are about what you would expect. All in all, their Zen 2 based Ryzen 4000 APUs are looking really exciting. The mobile variants will likely be released early next year, with desktop taking a bit longer since they came out not too long ago. Next up for today, Microsoft has announced they're getting rid of the Series X and they're just announced Xbox Series X console. That's it. So now it's called Xbox. I mean, I don't get the recent obsession with calling new products in a series the same name as its first, but maybe it'll be as good as God of War was for their series. One can only hope. Lastly for today, AMD's Ryzen 9 3900X got some pretty amazing clocks thanks to overclocker Jordan.hide99. Submitted at HWBot, you can see he was able to get it overclocked to a whopping 5.6 GHz, which is of course impressive in and of itself. But the biggest part is that while at 5.6 GHz, it was able to beat the i9-9920X at 5.92 GHz, 
With that said, the record for a 12 core CPU still belongs to the 9920X, but it required an overclock of 6.105 GHz. Still, it goes to show just how much better 3rd Gen Ryzen's IPC can be. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for 10 nanometers, or what about the upcoming Ryzen 4000 parts? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to visit privacy.com slash gamermeld today. And as always, have a great day.